Yo, what are you doing? This isn't part of the script. That is. That's our, that's our video? Yeah, we gotta do this one first. Screw this off. This video is not sponsored by Silson, the School of Inquiry and Life Sciences at Asheville. Please consider it. Show me what you're made of. You've heard that before, right? Well, with microbiology, we now know the answer. It's not potential, it's animal cells. Here is the animal cell. Now, because I need to grind out these points in a short amount of time, we're just going to go straight through the definitions. All of the information listed here you can find in the report if you care to read it. The nucleus is protected by a double membrane called the nuclear envelope. The primary function of the nucleus is to store the hereditary information of the cell and to coordinate the cell's activities. Inside the nucleus is the nucleolus and the chromosomes. The chromosomes make up the cell's DNA. There are 46 different molecules that are about 1.5 inches long and are crammed into the nucleus by combining with proteins and being organized into precise compact structures. These string-like fibers are called chromatin. The nucleolus is found within the nucleus. It produces the ribosomes for the cell which are needed to produce protein. After cell division, the nucleolus disappears. The plasma cell membrane is a fluid-like bilipid membrane that surrounds the cytoplasm, providing protection for the cell and maintaining its shape, and is selectively permeable, meaning that it chooses what may enter or leave the cell. It is also the base attachment for the cytoskeleton. The mitochondria is also known as the powerhouse of the cell. Its primary function is to convert glucose into ATP. This process is known as cellular respiration. The amount of mitochondria in a cell varies. Ribosomes create the protein for a cell. They are produced in the nucleolus and are either free in a cell or attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is a fluid-filled canal that transports materials in the cell. Ribosomes are stored here, making it rough in appearance. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum is a fluid-filled canal that transports materials in the cell. It is the center for many reactions, including the creation of lipids and hormones. Unlike the rough endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes are not attached to it, making it smooth in appearance. The Golgi apparatus is known as the post office of the cell. This is because it modifies, sorts, and packages proteins to be shipped out through the vesicles at the end of it. The cytoplasm is the jelly-like substance made from mostly water and salt that includes all of the organelles. The cytosol is just the jelly-like substance between the organelles. The cytoplasm contains enzymes which are important in dissolving waste and in metabolic activity. The cytoskeleton, composed of tubes and fibers, is present in the cytoplasm of the cell. It retains the shape of the cell along with allowing the organelles to move within it. 
Lysosomes, small like sac structures, contain digestive enzymes which digest worn out cell organelles in food. They are also known as a suicide sac. Well, I'm done. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. That's it. These are all the pictures used. If you'd like sources, then check out the report. Since Gabe talked about the animal cell, and we still need to keep this project technically individual, I'll be going over the plant cell. And I'll have to repeat a lot of the same things that he just said. A plant cell is a type of eukaryotic cell, and they're more complex than a prokaryotic cell. They are autotrophs, which means they produce their own food. Unlike prokaryotic cells, they contain membrane-bound organelles, are much larger, and have a nucleus. The nucleus is the most noticeable part of the plant cell, contained in a double membrane. It is the headquarters of the plant cell. The nucleus contains DNA of that cell, which stores all the genetic information of that specific cell. DNA is the guide for particular cells and is the reason that different cells look different and have different functions. Chromosomes and chromatin in the nucleus. The DNA in a plant cell is never alone and it pairs up with other proteins. This combined mass of DNA and protein is known as a chromatin. The chromatin will coil together in a form called a chromosome during cellular division. Chromosomes contain all the genetic information of the cell. The nucleolus is the central structure within the nucleus. It creates the necessary parts to form ribosomes and disappears during cellular division. The plasma membrane surrounds the whole cell, separating the internals of the cell from the outside. It is made up of phospholipids, which have a hydrophilic head and a hydrophobic tail, and create the fluid mosaic model. The plasma membrane allows for the control of materials in and out of the cell, and maintains homeostasis. The mitochondria provides energy for the cell. Some may dare to call it the powerhouse of the cell. It creates cellular energy by combining simple sugars such as glucose with oxygen to form usable immediate energy called ATP. The mitochondria is always changing. It can move around the cell and even divide. Ribosomes can be located in the cytoplasm by themselves or stationed at the rough endoplasmic reticulum. They are made of RNA and protein and make amino acids, monomers of proteins, through protein synthesis. The rough endoplasmic reticulum, also known as the rough ER, is located right outside the nucleus as both work together very closely. The endoplasmic reticulum is also the location of cellular chemical reactions. It is called the rough ER because it, it, because it contains many ribosomes that are made up in the nucleus. This gives it a rough looking texture. These ribosomes create proteins through protein synthesis, which are collected in the rough ER awaiting transport. The ER is also described as an intercellular highway. You'll never guess what they called the other ER, the smooth ER, also known as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It is different in function depending on the cell. It is similar to the rough ER as both are endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth ER can act as a storage unit for both lipids and ions. Also, the smooth ER can perform synthesis on lipids. Next is the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus acts as the packaging and distribution center of the cell. The function of the Golgi is to manage, package, and modify macromolecules and distribute it elsewhere in the cell to where it is needed. The cytosol is the jelly-like fluid within the plant cell that consists of mostly organic molecules and water. All the other cell organelles reside on the cytosol and contains most of the cellular metabolism. The term cytoplasm includes the cytosol and all the organelles within it. The cytoskeleton is the main support structure in the cytoplasm and contains a network of tubes and fibers. The cytoskeleton is very important in cell motility and allows for the internal movement of cell organelles. The cell wall is unique to plant cells. The cell wall surrounds the cell membrane and acts as another layer of protection, usually made up of polysaccharides, cellulose, which makes the cell wall strong and rigid and provides shape to the cell. Chloroplasts are one of the most notable different organelles in a plant cell. Chloroplasts contain chlorophyll, which are responsible for plants appearing green. They use the sun's energy to convert water and carbon dioxide into usable sugars in a process known as photosynthesis. Lastly, unique to plant cells is the central vacuole. The central vacuole occupies a large portion of the plant cell. It plays a factor in intercellular digestion and also the storage and release of waste products. They provide trigger pressure of the cell. When the central vacuole is full of water, it pushes against the cell wall providing rigidity. I can't hear you. It's not working. <laughs> That's a bit too loud, wasn't it? No. Okay. Actually, like, dude, I are like.
Yeah, Wi-Fi. I need to do the Josh, self. You shouldn't have gone with charter Wi-Fi. No, stop freaking snail mail Wi-Fi. No. Here. Okay.